Well, hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate, and we have the Arabella for you today, built by Clayton Homes. We are at the 2024 Biloxi Home Show. This is going to be a three bedroom, two bath, 2160 square foot. Can also be had in a 76 foot, but the one we're going to tour is the 32 by 72 footer, so you can actually get this a little bit longer, giving you a little bit more floor plan space. Now, what else do we got for the home? Well, <laughs> you walk in and you have the most unique foyer I've seen so far out of all the homes. So like I said, we have the most unique foyer as you walk in and it goes back into like a little flex space that they've got set up as an office. This is part of the Buccaneer series. And then one thing I want to show you back here at the end been trying to stay away from the end a little bit so I don't get copyrighted because they got, as you can hear, they got music playing. But that uh, porch right there is an add-on porch that you can get either added on to it at the time you get it or you can get it added on later on. Of course, you do it at the time you get the home, you can have that financed in with the rest of the home. And I like these overhangs they've got. Didn't really get to point those out yet. Go ahead and head on in so we can get out of the music and not get copyrighted. And we got these really nice light pictures right as we walk up in. Now as you walk in, it's kind of a, you're not even seeing the foyer here, you're looking right into the, the living room. But here's what we got. Really nice looking kind of foyer area. You can set this up as however you want. You know, they've got like a nice little bench here. I'm not sure if these lights come standard with the home, but uh, if they do, it looks really good. You've got windows here, and then you've got windows over here, and that's gonna be your dining room over there. But then it comes back into this flex space that you can use. Like I said, they've got it set up for an office. That's probably exactly how I would set it up too. Make this my office area. Of course, all your vents are in the ceiling in this home. And then you've got this door that you can close off. So you can kind of separate yourself out a little bit. <laughs> Not going to close off too much sound with that uh, expanded metal mesh there. And then this is back here at the back door. You've got your little coat area with some cubbies and a bench. So just kind of real quick, I want to show you a little bit of this deck that you can get. So as I said, this is an add-on. Similar to what some other manufacturers are now doing where they're making these decks that you can just purchase and then they can ship them right out with the home or add them on later. And as we come into the back door, we're going to come to kind of a butler style pantry area. You've got a sink, and this isn't even the kitchen area. We've got some floating shelves, but you've got this nice prep area. They've got it set up like an espresso bar. You've got drawers above some of your doors. So there's your microwave at counter level. Looks really good. 
Okay, so that's looking back towards the coat area in that office area or flex space. And then as we come back this way, we will actually enter into the shelving portion of the pantry. Looks really, really good. Lots of pantry space in there. And then you've got these little balls right here, spring loaded. And I know that was probably really loud, but, <laughs> but that's how you close your door. And then you just lock up, give it a tug, and it opens right up. Your handle's a little bit different. You don't actually reach all the way through the handle. And you have a little pull on that side, and for whatever reason, if you want to close it on the inside. And then we'll come into the kitchen. So we started over there where those gentlemen are at. And we went around through that. There's the flex space. And then we went back behind the fridge and came out over here. So again, we got drawers over doors. So we didn't open any up in there. Oh, they got lots of candy in there. Somebody's got a sweet tooth. <laughs> Here's the stainless steel sink once again in the island of your kitchen. Electrical outlet there. Got one at the other end. Seating for three. So we'll come back and finish in the kitchen after I show you the dining room area. And check out this light fixture they use. <laughs> We said, there's the windows and then to that walkway that we came through when we first entered the home. In our living room, we've got the coffered ceiling. Three extra large windows with the transom windows. There's, we have the pillar that kind of separates all four little areas there. Separates your entrance way, your dining room, your kitchen. <laughs> We'll come back in and get the last little bit of the kitchen while we've got some clearance area. A nice vent hood over your stove there. I like the way they designed that. You got the larger drawers for your pots and pans on each side of your stove. And then the white subway tile. And we'll work our way down the hallway. First of the bedrooms in the home. Now all your bedrooms are at one end of the home. Really nice size closet. We've got shelves at, at the ends also. Here's a couple other homes available in the uh, Buccaneer series. Let's see if I can get you a close up of them. We'll 
come back across the hallway into the utility room area. We've got the sink, of course your washer and dryer hookup, the wire rack above it, but we do have cabinets above the sink. We've got the louvered door. And then going into these guys is going to be your E-Series water heater. And uh, check that out. I mean, there's an app that you can use and you can monitor all kinds of stuff off of your water heater, like how much hot water you're using, how much electricity you're using, all kinds of stuff. And I believe there's even an app you can get for your heater to uh, kind of monitor that kind of information also. Coming out of the utility room, we do have a storage closet directly across from it. And we will head up the guest bathroom. It's a little bit larger than normal because they added this uh, linen cabinet over here. And then they've got the Extra large oval shower tub combo. Now, hello, Raiden. <laughs> the square sink. And then we'll come back into this room over here, but we're going to do this one first. And I haven't really talked much about the crown molding and the trim and the baseboards, but it is all done, all wood, really nice, kind of a darker stain to it. And then on your doors here, you've got this little lip that sticks out. Like you've even got it in your closets. in the primary suite Coming off the primary suite or bedroom comes into the bathroom. But we've got dual sinks, plenty of drawers and cabinets on either side. So they went with the white shiplap on the wall. And I've got one thing I haven't even told you about yet. And that's where we're going to finish up at. But from the water closet, we have our freestanding tub. First, you've got the nice tall picture windows. And then the tile shower. Now, this is kind of that rustic wood look, which just goes right along with the way the rest of the home has been designed. used was it Fister is the brand for the uh, all the faucets and and uh, fixtures in the home and now for that final feature that I haven't even mentioned yet in your closet it's a giant size closet We've got two sets of built-ins, one on each side. Looks really good. And 
And I hope I can get y'all to look really good down there in that comment section letting me know what you think of this really nice home. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the Arabella, especially with its unique design and that entrance way. Like, yeah. uh, what kind of color no, options would you like to uh, see? Yes, I got Will. And uh, while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on them notifications, share this video with your friends and family, and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, we're back home. <laughs> I've been home for about uh, three days now. But uh, this is a Buccaneer home. It is built by Clayton Homes. And everything that Clayton builds now is going to be part of the E-Series. So it stands for High Energy Efficiency. It's essentially what it is, if I can actually speak. <laughs> now at the home show, they had a booth all about the uh, High Efficiency E-Series. I didn't get a chance to talk to the people. There was a lot of people in there talking to them, so I didn't get a chance to sit down and talk with them to get any information. But I did get a chance to sit down and talk with Chance to get permission to use his thumbnail, which will be popping up, where he went over a lot of the information that they had on display at the Louisville Home Show. And then there's gonna be a link in the description if you wanna get more information from Clayton's website about the E-Built series. These E-Built series are really nice. There's a lot of things you can do with it as far as checking on power usage, water usage, things like that. And of course, they all have high efficiency windows. Okay, so now I know y'all are interested in some price information for this one. Of course, now remember, this was at a home show. We don't know where the where it's gonna go. We don't know what the freight charges are gonna be. We don't know what uh, options you're gonna get. You know, there's a lot of different things that go into play on, on the factoring of the price. But this is built in Alabama. It is made by Buccaneer Homes, or so estimated retail price on this Buccaneer home called the Arabella is going to be between $165,000 to $200,000 is going to be the estimated range. You know, like I said, there's a lot of things that can come into factor depending on how far you have it shipped and things like that. It could be more, but uh, hope you all enjoyed it. So if you'd like to see more of the newer stuff, check out this 2024 home show playlist. Or check out this giant size Clayton home that I filmed uh, about two years ago in North Carolina. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.